Welcome to Factorio. My name is Nilaus. This is a tutorial review of the new oil changes that were recently recently implemented as part of version 0.17.60, I believe. And so I've been asked a lot of uh, times, what are my thoughts? What do, do I like it? What do, you, what, what do I want to do with it? And I thought, why not make a video of a tutorial of it and update some blueprints uh, so that you can transition from early game, mid game to late game in a pretty neat and orderly manner. So that's the objective of this video. Hope you will enjoy. Right, so we are, we are here. Let's, uh, let's have a look at first at what has changed. The, what has changed is there is the basic oil processing is now taking 100 crude oil and making 45 petroleum. That used to be making yeah, now I can't even remember. It used to make some heavy oil, some light oil, and a bit of petroleum, which was pretty bad because you really needed the petroleum much more and you had to store uh, all the remaining. And, and that was a really painful thing for new people to get into. So what they also did in subsequent change is actually here. The chemical science pack is now different. So now it does not require any any solid fuel it requires sulfur i think that's a great idea because sulfur comes from from petroleum and now you can get all of this with the petroleum so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to show you a an early game setup that will get you started and also illustrate how much you can actually get with this setup so as i usually do i have prepared something in advance as any good tv chef will uh, will do i am built this thing here and all of these blueprints and the save file is available. So uh, you can download it and you can play with it yourself and steal whatever you want or borrow or whatever we want to call it. So I've put these indicators here. I'm, I'm building this as one module. So the things that don't make sense at this point, they will make sense. But um, just so bear with me and you can see that it all comes together. But I've marked six lanes here for different types of liquids. We're currently only using a few of them. And at this one, I have an indicator, a constant combinator that simply summarizes what the line is doing. So this line is taking 200 minus 200 minus 200 crude oil plus 190 petroleum. Pretty straightforward. That's what we need. So now the, the obvious next question is, so if I can find 200 petroleum to put in here, no, 200 crude oil to put in here, then I get 90 petroleum. What can I build with that? Well, that's thank you for asking that question. Funny you should ask you that question because I have actually prepared something for you. What I've done here is give a proposal on how, what, why you would want to split this. So you get 90 petroleum gas per second. I propose that you split it like this. Take three machines, three chemical plants using 60 petroleum. That gives you six plastic per second. And then you have 30 left. The 30 left you will take in here. And that will give you two there 30 petroleum and that gives you two sulfur those two sulfur one sulfur goes in here and becomes 10 sulfuric acid that's not something we really need but it's something you'd want to have anyway let me go back these six plastic we are producing every second they can now be made into if you have 24 blue inserters I'm not arranged like this, but just to give an idea about the size of things. This can be now done in and now made into a lot of advanced circuits. You can now get three advanced circuits or red circuits every second. Now, three red circuits plus one sulfur is exactly what you need, given you have 32 blue assemblers in order to make exactly two chemical science or blue science packs per second. So with this setup, you get just enough to produce two blue circuits per second. And that's kind of a pretty good size to build a normal basin, in my opinion. This also means that you will not have any residual or any surplus red circuits for RoboPorts or anything else that you want. So unless you stop this, likewise, not any additional sulfur. You can, of course, build these bigger, but this is basically just illustrating how you can use this. And the sulfur here is giving you two batteries per second. Yeah. 
right? This one is running on a four second cycle and each, so if you, that means five per second. So if I put 10 in, then you can get two batteries per second. Two batteries per second is pretty good deal because that's uh, that could be for accumulators if you are going the clean road here. It's not gonna give you a lot of batteries, but again, this is a starting setup to get the blue signs working. And once you have the blue signs working, well, it's time to scale up. But I think this is a pretty damn good view of how, how you can give it. So stamp this blueprint down, get those ratios up and running. You got two blue circuits, blue signs per second. Now you've progressed, you have unlocked the advanced oil processing and you start seeing a demand for solid fuel and lubricant, lubricant for the blue, blue belts and electric engines and solid fuel for maybe your furnaces, maybe towards rocket fuel. And let's have a look at what this is. So I've prepared the second blueprint. Please up to the right one, that one. Let's see if it works. And we're gonna allow this to build. We have all of the house robots, they are coming in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now you can see that we have more of a full array and this contains some logic, very simple logic. So don't uh, don't freak out about it. It's something you can leave it as it is, or you can change it to your own liking. Now, first, let's do the look at the basic stuff. This row of ten. Oh, oh, damn! I wanted to show something. I want to show that this one fits exactly on top, which is exactly why I've built it like it is. It fits exactly on top. Oh, if Guarantee you don't have this, which means when you build the first thing, don't build anything nearby because you're going to need that space. And that continues as well. So the quantities still the same 200 in. I'm ignoring the water because water is free. We get 50 heavy oil, 90 light oil and 110 petroleum. Pretty good. Let's start with the heavy oil because heavy oil can be used for two things. It can be used to make lubricant or it can be used for the cracking process here, which gives you slightly less light oil. And I have made a setup so that it controls automatically based on the content of these, which one will work. So the first thing that happens is all of the heavy oil goes in, fills up all of these, including all of these. That's important to mention. That means they all start working immediately. However, these are unable to get past this pump, which has a second condition, just a little red indicator. That red indicator means that it will it will block any flow of material until the condition is met. The condition is met is the fact that I want at least 5,000 lubricant before starting. So this may fill up, but it's not gonna continue producing. This part here will continue to produce lubricant, filling up this box. You can see as I hover over the red wire highlights the red wire communicates the content of the box if it's over 5000 then this one will start pushing and the cracking process will start the lubricant process is going to continue but when it reaches 20000 i'm blocking it off you can change this if you want 10000 for example if you feel that is a better number for you then uh, then you can stop it so you don't over produce lubricant because you really don't need that much lubricant now, that means we are getting potentially 38 additional light oil out. The light oil here can be used for two things. It can be used for solid fuel. I know it's possible to make solid fuel out of heavy and out of uh, out of petroleum, but don't do it. You can see it uses 20. This uses 20, but this one only uses light. Uh, you only, the light one only uses 10. So always even to the point where you start cracking it in before. So cracking heavy to light is and then making it into solid is 50 percent increased yield so do that if you need it that means light oil is exclusively for solid fuel and later on rocket fuel um so these are traps it's a trap there yeah, don't do it now what is important is you will need to get make some solid fuel you probably need to make some solid fuel somewhere in the base somewhere out that means i should not take all of the production here, all of this light oil that's being produced, all of these 90, 
and just instantly convert them into petroleum because then suddenly you're going to get stuck. So what I'm doing is it goes up here, it goes into all of these, they will, con they will exactly consume in the 90, actually consume a bit more, consume 120, but they will not go out because there is a pump with a wire condition that says you will not be allowed to continue this process of cracking light oil until you have at least 10,000 in this one. That guarantees that if there is a process, let's say up here, that draws up, draws light oil, then this process will stop. So you will always have light oil available. But if you don't use the light oil, it converts to petroleum because you can never have enough petroleum because plastic, plastic and sulfur and all that good stuff. That just uses so much petroleum. And that's basically how it works. This is uh, pretty much self-balancing. Uh, the one little teeny tiny caveat that you should uh, that be Mindful of that if you have absolutely zero uh, usage of light oil anywhere else in the base, it is actually not able to convert all of it to petroleum. But that I think is a such a minor point. You could just add another one. Another important note is it might be tempting to go up here and say, hey, you know what? I have some light oil here. Why don't we just uh, put these together? No, 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 no. Because if you do that, then this condition out here and this condition here will no longer work because they can cheat their way around it. So don't do that. What I've also deliberately done is open these up, open these up for uh, to point this way. So if you are saying, hey, you know what? I actually don't want 10, I want 20. It still works. Just double the whole damn thing. It still works. Um, so this is that level. And then this will reach pretty much through the mid, mid game and be pretty good for a long time. Now I'm just going to show you how modular it is. I built this one. This was the initial one. At a certain point, you're, you're upgrading as we just did. You're upgrading it to here. So now it's, it's upgraded to the mid game option what I would call it and once we then get to the late game and this is where things get really dicey and this is where you can see all the stuff that we've planned out now comes into fruition as you can see here we are now spamming an absolute ton of um, of things on here and what is actually and this is a bit annoying uh, to be honest because if I do this it doesn't add it doesn't actually add the, uh, the values to it. So I have to do this myself. So be mindful of that. Take, take it out and I can also do this. And I can, so yeah, it works, but there's some they need to be replaced, otherwise they don't get their modules in. And the whole point of this is modules. But there you go. Now modules will be flown in and added automatically. There we go. Thank you, Autosave. Now these numbers are going to be very different. Now you can see we're using 1,100 uh, crude oil per second. So that's going to be pretty much all a an entire pipe fully saturated, just smashing into this. Uh, with the highest capacity and it's going to give us a lot of different materials out let's again start up top from the crude oil uh, not crude oil from the heavy oil these numbers have also been updated what you're seeing here is that i've retained five of them dedicated to lubricant that is not able to consume all of the heavy oil but i don't think there is a world where you need more than 300 lubricant per second and if it is then this is not the setup for you then you need to do something scaled up differently. So also, if you just, if you don't have any lubricant, if the lubricant is stuck, not being drawn upon, this will convert all of the heavy oil into light oil. Now to go to the next one, the light oil. This is important to note. This is on, only able to convert 683. 683 is enough to convert this, but not enough to convert the sum total of, of this plus this and I don't have a problem with it because at this stage of the game you are going to make rocket fuel rocket fuel is here 
rocket fuel takes one 10 solid fuel that's going to be 100 light oil plus another 10 light oil that means each rocket fuel takes 110 uh, light oil to produce you are going to draw a lot of the light oil that you have in these pipes out and so so it's not going to be a problem but you're still going to want to balance uh, or convert as much as possible into into petroleum because that's where you really have the heavy usage from the plastic which is used for way too many things so if you uh, if you look at this then there is a constant supply constant supply of light oil constant supply of petroleum gas and this row here is now balancing out using this gate uh, whether you to balance out if you need more light oil or more petroleum and that's basically how that works one thing that you should be mindful of is that one pipe of water is no longer enough in here so just f putting in one one water in here is going to make the whole whole network being uh, water constrained so you have to get two water in and my recommendation is getting another line out here and just pump it in for example something like like this right pretty simple pretty harmless water is not gated in any way and then you can get another line of water in because the water pipes these pipes transport was it 1200 per second and yeah you can't really that, that's too much this one is consuming 600 and probably more so you don't want to be water starved because that's cheap you want the whole thing to work so pump water in from both sides and that's uh, that's basically it i uh, and sort of on a conclusion i think that the new changes are very good and i th i'm really happy that for example on the early game option here i was kind of worried when i heard the change that if this was a higher number i don't know let's say 60 75 something like that then if you're building a plastic outpost for example you may not bother with all of this conversion you could just say yeah whatever i'm just gonna go straight but if the yield difference is between 45 percent yield and that one 125 percent yield the, the it's pretty obvious that you don't want to get stuck on this one any longer than you absolutely have to on the other hand it solves the early game problem the setup like this you can easily get the ball rolling get a pretty decent amount of of blue science operational two blue signs per second that's more than enough to get you through all the blue signs before you get to um before you even unlocked and set up the either the production signs or the utility signs like the purple and or yellow signs so definitely easy enough build this you're going to be good to go and you can also build it smaller build it maybe half size and then use some of the red circuits and some of the plastic for other things you might need in the base that's also an option anyway i think that's um that's gonna be it for now i've uh, as you can probably tell i spent a bit of time on this tutorial so really uh, hope that it, you find it useful if you do you know where the like button is i'd really appreciate any likes and comments uh, if there's something i'm missing some other good ideas um Feel free to let me know in the comment section if you find this useful for someone else that you know or some other places then i also really appreciate any shares because uh, i'm sure that some of the people for whom this would be an absolutely perfect draw they don't know my channel yet yet right and we can maybe help each other out and get some more uh, fanatics uh, coming in here by with a nice tutorial anyway that should be enough for now so promotion so thank you very much for watching and as always Stay effective.